Spain and France were at war, not only in Europe but in the New World as well. This power struggle for control of territories had a tremendous effect on Texas and the native Texans. With the French in Texas, the Spanish government turned their colonizing efforts to Texas. The system they used to colonize Texas was the same they'd used in New Mexico and California. Missions to Christianize the natives, presidios to provide protection for the priests and the natives. Both required men and supplies. The Viceroy of New Spain approved colonizing Texas. In 1690, Alonso de Leon, along with several priests, set out to do just that. Only 12 days after they arrived in East Texas, the priests celebrated Mass in a new mission, San Francisco de los Tejas. What about the native Texans? Most were not willing to give up their way of life to support the missions. This combined with the fact that many had died due to illness made native Texans more hostile. Because of these difficulties and because the French no longer appeared to be a threat, Spain ended its first attempt at colonization of Texas in 1693. In 1699, France built trading posts in present-day Mississippi and Alabama. Spain became alarmed when Frenchman Luis Juchero de Saint-Denis entered Spanish territory. Spain was even more determined to reclaim Texas. In 1721, the Marquis de San Miguel de Aguayo was put in charge of this effort. First, he went to San Antonio. He then reopened all of the East Texas missions and provided them with necessary priests, supplies, and military support. Throughout the province, he established new missions and presidios. Now that Spain had a hold of Texas, new settlers were needed for the colony. In 1751, Canary Islanders arrived in San Antonio de Bejar. There they set up a small village. Spain attempted to expand northward, but the missions were unsuccessful because the same problems that were present in East Texas occurred to the north. After northward expansion was unsuccessful, Spain attempted to move westward. They established Mission San Saba de la Santa Cruz and Presidio San Luis de Amarillas. The Lipan Apaches had requested the missions for protection against the Comanches and the Wichitas. The Comanches were not happy about this protective arrangement. They set off for San Saba and killed eight Spaniards at the mission. Spain sought revenge against the Comanches, but was unsuccessful and San Saba was abandoned. The Marquis de Rubí was commissioned by the Spanish king to explore Texas. As a result of Rubí's report, East Texas missions were abandoned and the capital of the province was moved from Los Adais to San Antonio.